Let's do auto stop plots. I forgot to do that. But yeah. Let's go back. We're still waiting for our money to go up. Uh, Blackwood was beheaded on the orders of the king. No, the family that we married into. That's a shame. Will you give me an alliance? We can't do anything. Betrothal. So, Mr. Bolton and my daughter. But you won't even give me... Mr. Bolton, you won't even give me an alliance. And that upsets me. My small council, should we do this? Should we marry? Or should we not? Because he won't give me an alliance and I need an alliance. I can maybe send a gift to these guys if I borrow some money. Family affairs, am I right? Small council, should we, should we let our daughter marry the Boltons? I mean, they could give us an alliance in a few years. Do it, he will die within 10 years. That's a good point. He'll die at some point. And, uh, actually, you know what? Yeah, you're, that's a good... I'm gonna, I'm gonna take that. I'm gonna take that good, sir. Let's do it. Um, I'm gonna actually gonna then get some money. I'm actually gonna ask the bank for an iron loan. We're gonna get the iron bank's loan, get the money in so I can use this to get the worlds to ally with me. Send a gift. And form an alliance. There we go. Can we make an alliance with you, Mr. Bolton, if I send you a gift? 31 gold, that's quite... Oh, and we get the alliance. Oh, now it's done. We get the alliance. There we go. Is it because I had no money? <laughs> he didn't want to ally with someone who was poor. But here we... What? What's this? <gasps> the Arbor, Gull Town and the Vale and the Westlands are all here in the lands that I want. I mean, they're sieging it down, which is good, but I can't attack it. Helena Targaryen has died from her severe injuries. Oh, no. So Aegon had to watch as his wife died. So Aegon and his uncle, they both killed each other's wives at this point. This, this is what I call a story. They both killed each other's wives at this point, and their fight continues. 88% they're in favor of King Aegon the Tormentor. I mean, he does... Oh, he doesn't have the air, does he? No, he doesn't. Well, Aegon could win this anyway. 28,000 men... And his children still are alive. Jaehaerys and Mela. I wonder who Aegon is going to, to incest with. Probably one of, like, uh, Daemon's children, probably, I'd, I'd suggest. We're going to have to wait for these guys to move. Then we'll declare war. And we'll take that land. We'll unite the hill clansmen, actually. Let's actually uh, fabricate a claim. We'll go for Breakstone Hill. Yeah. No, we won't go for the Wells. We're allied to the Wells right now. We'll go for that one instead. Who got this? Still Kragen Stark. He's gone down south. He's a little bit depressed after seeing the dragons fight him. Made him a little bit sad. Oh, he's invited us to the wedding. Of course we'll travel to the wedding. I'm not even fighting. I'm not even down south. So we can go to the wedding. Where's all the Northmen? They come back north. Oh, they come back north to help defend the north. There we go. I decided to give you the honor of awarding you the title Keeper of the Swans. There we go, guys. Thank you, your grace. We've been named Keeper of the Swans. Thank you for at least recognizing us in this way. What do I want now, though? Become a higher lord. Yes, we want to become a high lord, I think. Uh, Fionn wants to become a high lord. He listened to you, said Jaden King. Keeper of the Bears. Damon the Dragon Slayer has been defeated by Aegon, and he's been imprisoned, just like his wife before him. But I told you, his daughter. See, look at this. So Aegon, trying to keep hold of the Iron Throne, decided to marry one of Daemon's daughters, Rhaena, the second daughter. He couldn't marry a Baelor. She's just too strong-willed to marry, and she's a dragon. So he married the second daughter to try and kind of bring the family ties together again. She's attractive as well, I guess. But yeah, uh, Lord Rickard of Blackhaven has declared at War of Blackhaven Independence. Lord Dondarians, uh, Dragger John is now following. Thank you so much, Dragger John. Welcome aboard. Lord Galbert greets us warmly to the wedding. Autumn beer was served. Well, there we go. Come on, Craig and Stark, defeat these guys. And now for the feast. Here we go. Hopefully he can defeat him. He sieged down the land so that I can go get it. It should be very easy with my allies and stuff. Uh, Coleman was hanged. The feast is winding down. And now only the bedding remains. A fine tradition. A 
fine little tradition, as we all know. And there we go. Uh, it's over. Time to head home. Another wedding, another time. There is going to be war forever. Through stage war games and large-scale exercises, I feel confident I can master one of the main military disciplines. Lightfoot, heavy, or cavalry. I think we'll go for heavy. I think of more Montyo, you know, big bears, you know. We'll be heavy. Once he gets that back, we can declare war. We're at minus 42%. I don't think the King of the North is going to survive. Look at this. The Stormlands are here with quite a few men. But where's the Riverlands men? I don't see the Riverland men. Um, Damon Targaryen was hung, drawn, and quartered by the king for killing his wife. So there we go. A sad day. So really, in Aegon's case, any real person, maybe, who's a very direct kind of uh, adversary is gone. You know, Aemond One-Eye is his loyal brother. Um, Daron Targaryen is his other loyal brother with uh, Tessarian the Blue Queen. Only the ones that can stop them, maybe, are his sister's children or his uncle's children. They're the ones that might be able to stop him. But Jacarys is currently in the Iron Throne. He's being kept as a prisoner, I guess. We could say a house prisoner. Uh, Adam is off in the Essos. You know, he's got his own dragon, though. We've got Lucery is also stuck in the Iron Throne. Um, Alan is actually in um, the Valyrian lands. And Joffrey is in the capital. So what about the uncle's children? So Baylor is currently in the Iron Throne. Aegon is as well, and Viserys is all... Oh, Dragon Dreams for him. Yeah, most of them can't really take him down. There's a couple of people that might be able to, but uh, he received a beautiful new dark sister. Well, there you go. King Aegon is a Kingslayer. People will hate him. Yep, he killed his own uncle. Um, and we all know, secretly, you know, it, there's a rumor going around that it's his fault that Rhaenyra died, so yeah. My Lord Newsom King's Land for trial by combat. Daemon Targaryen demanded a trial by combat from his captain, King Aegon. And he was defeated by Jacarys. Oh, that is so mean. I mean, the king got Jacarys Valerian to fight his own mother's husband. So, like his stepfather. That is a horrible thing to do. No wonder Daemon did not win. I mean, obviously he was wounded. But maybe he couldn't bring himself to kill his former wife's son. Yeah. Maybe he couldn't do it. Maybe he was like, damn you, Aegon. You're so cruel. I cannot do this. Or maybe Jacarys did win. I, I, it's hard to tell. I'd love to know what you guys think. Do you think Daemon could not kill him? or Because, you know, his family, you know, he was son of his former wife. Or do you think that actually Jacarys won? You know, Jacarys is strong. He's quick. You know, he's a trained fighter, you know. I'd love to know what you guys think. But coming back north, we're at 38... Okay, we're starting to win again. We're at 38%. And it's time for war for us. Let's go. Claim Pine's End. This will be mine. We'll call our allies in. I'm not even sure if I'm going to have to get any men. I think my allies could probably deal with this situation. The Stormlands is usurp the High Lords with the Straits of Tarth. Well, there we go. If you lose your title, drink. Uh, may have to drop out, but we'll see how NG plays. Of course, I'll honor this. Thank you, Well family. So, Lord Quent the Well has joined us. And we have Lord Galba Bolton helping us as well. And there they go. I don't even have to raise a finger. <laughs> it's fun for the whole family. <laughs> and there we go. Perfect. And Craig and Stark does not seem to be taking notice of me. So we are losing minus 43%. He had another kid, though. Prince Elric Stark. So there's two Starks now. There we go. Isn't that lovely, everyone? There are now two Starks. Um, there's only 80 men there. Shouldn't take them too long. This war is ours. Pine's End is mine. Who got the High Lordship? The Hay family. So the, the Freys lost their title, and their vassal got the High Lordship instead. Uh, Bok. Boj Bojack420, thank you so much for joining. Welcome aboard, a new brawn. A new brawn to add to our collection, of course. Thank you. Uh, Dawn down south, of course, still independent. 
Am I still Keeper of the Swans? I think so, yeah, from what I can remember. Yep, we're still Keeper of the Swans. We never lost it. Why did you think we lost it? What made you think such a silly thing? Silly people. How are the three daughters doing? Okay, three daughters led by High Magister Pinto. Tumitis. War for the City of Harbour of Maya. Um, Andrew Mormon offers to teach you a game called Chavez that he learnt from some merchants at the inn. My own son. You've not even had a baby yet, my son. What's going on? Where's your babies? She's lustful. What's, what's wrong with you? Oh, you're chaste. So she's lustful. You're chaste. Uh, that's not a good combination. I mean, they obviously don't go well together. But I am ambitious, so... Uh... I'll go to the inn and study the game in secret. Yeah, he doesn't want his son to outwit him, so... You watch the merchants playing in the common room at the inn. Things were going well until one accused the other of cheating. A fight broke out and you barely managed to escape with your life and dignity. Okay, well that's not good. I went to watch, but things didn't go well. Uh, my allies are getting together for some reason. It just siege it down. You've got way more than enough men to take that. What does Keep of the Swans actually do? Nothing really, we just look after the swans. That's it. We just look after those swans, you know? There's so many swans up north. And we've won. There we go. Enforce our demands. I will take Pine's End from the Lid. I'm sorry, Liddles. I'm so sorry, but it has it's mine now. Here we go, guys. Our conquest begin. Lord Fion, after listening to the advice of my Bannerman, uh, Teuton Knight, thank you so much for following. Welcome aboard. Empowering my council, the Swift family. Because hopefully we can get a claim on this next. And then we can get this. Then we can get that one. The Square Hunter, thank you for following as well. Wow, everyone seems to be following now. <laughs> Don't know what happened, but thank you. Another Bron to follow my Tyrion. Am I Tyrion? I mean, I'm not very short, but still. Oh, well. Um, there's how many, any wars going on? There's still some independence wars, actually. The Crag. We've got Crackclaw. And, of course, the North's still going on. Travelers bring rumors of fire and blood. They say King Aegon now rides Tyraxis. Now, because it's war, you know, the whole realm is still in a bit of chaos right now. People don't love him. A few people qu openly question him due to his, you know, kin slaying, etc. A lot of people don't like him. So he had to tame the dragon. Tyraxis, 17 years old. It's a young dragon. It's a young dragon indeed. My lord received word that the dragon sheep stealer, owned by Nettles, has died. There we go. That is good to see. It was maimed apparently, I guess by a Northman. A Northman must have maimed sheep stealer. Um, but Nettles is the lady paramount of the trident. She had a baby, but it died. That is a shame. But, N I mean, Nettles got to become a Lady Paramount. You know, that's a big success story for her, you know. It's kind of a happy ending. I mean, as long as she likes Grover. If she doesn't like Grover, then it's a very sad ending. But hopefully she does like him. And it could be a good ending. What's this? Have you betrayed us? They have. They betrayed us. So the Tollheart, the Tollheart family have betrayed us and the Fisher family. They've joined the side of the South. They think that the King is going to win, so they've joined him to try and gain maybe some, uh, you know, um, respect from him. Damn them all! What young woman doesn't love an 83-year-old man? I know! Sme smexy time with the 83-year-old man. Offense or defense? That is the question. Unyielding. We're a rock. We're the bears. We, un we never yield. Alan of Cracklaw Baron has had to give up. We're at minus 73%. Look at all the armies here now. The king is a dragon once again. It's not looking good. It's not looking good. What is our duke tier level? Um, I don't think the Bear Island... Yeah, Bear Island doesn't have a high lordship. Um, we're going to be taking the Mountain Clans from one though. Here we stand. There you go. Perfect Team Plasma Grunt. Yeah, Unyielding is perfect first because it actually goes with our name as well. Um, our house words. And here I stand. Ah. We will always stand. Son, where's your, where's your baby? Yes, and Alison Blackwood is pregnant. Word has reached you. The priest has given into weakness and helped himself to the arms when he was meant to be distributing amongst the poor. Off to the dungeon with him. Of course, of course. We're a, we're a zealous man. 
We're going to need to have a new man come in because we haven't got anyone who can do it. Um, a new courtier, a holy man. We need a proper holy man. Okay, this guy will have to do. I mean, he's okay. he's better than the other guy. Halas, congratulations on the new priest. My prisoner, Carlin's complaining about his dark cell. Normally, I marry off my uh, counselors, which I forgot to do. Let's do that. Theoden. Congratulations. You can marry... I mean, I guess we should marry them off to someone. Yeah, go on. Marry them to them because they need to get married. Alaric. They're too old. There we go. And they can become part of our house. Though, isn't that lovely? We'll let them become part of the house. I don't think I can get a debutante right now. Yeah, we have to wait. Uh, Lord Adam of Driftmark usurped the title of Lord of Claw Isle. What? So Adam Valerian, the one with the dragon, um, and son of uh, Lena Valerian, but also the son of Marilda of Gull Hull, Hall, um, he's managed to take Claw Isle and Driftmark. So he's got Claw Isle and Driftmark. He has a dragon egg. He has silver bracelets, a gold sword. He has fury. What? A great and magnificent sword known as Fury. Huh. Corley's the Sea Snake owned this. So it's actually not um, a Valerian steel sword. Sea Smoke's Dragon Egg. High Valerian Sculpture. Uh, it's got Sea Snake, Magnificent Peyton. Look at that. Well, there we go. Corley's the Sea Snake. What have you done? You've given him so much power. What about the Keltigers? Sir Clement Keltiger. He's had to go to King's Landing, apparently. And he's got nothing the Celtigers have lost everything. Poor them. What is his plan? Is he going to try and take the Iron Throne for himself? We're still at minus 72 right now. And we, of course, have a peasant revolt going on in Cape Kraken. Head to the castle of Sandship. That's fine. But yes. <laughs> Poetic still trying to sell his drinking games. King Aegon is inherited the castle of the gate. That's fine. We don't need to be concerned with down there. I'm hoping we can get the another claim. We've got two places, which is fine. Two places are fine. You know, Pine, you know, Pine's End's not bad. And we've had the bend the knee. Craigon Stark had the bend the knee. Will he be punished? Your prisoner, Carlin, requested an audience. No, you shall not. For your religious crimes, you will not be released. And things have gone back to normal. There's almost peace. Only Black Caven. Only the Dundarian family are currently rebelling. That's it. All the other civil wars have been put down. And Aegon has won. And he has a new wife. Reyna, of course. Does she have a dragon? She does. Oh, Reyna does have a dragon. She oh yeah, she has Bradion, doesn't she? Yes, of course she does. Revoke the Lordship of Stony Shore from the Fisher. So he he be he took away the fish's lands because they did betray them, remember? So there you go. But he wasn't punished. Craig and Stark had kept his lands. Well, there you go. They didn't punish them for betraying the kingdom. So he let them bend the knee. A most impressive woman has recently arrived at your court. Apparently the reason for her visit has been to arrange a trade agreement with the local merchants. While people did not think much of her at first, now you've heard many courtiers praising her savvy business sense. Perhaps you should make uh, her an offer. No, everyone's fine. We're fine for now. Well, this war ended better than the real one, I guess. <laughs> well, the real war was absolutely horrible, wasn't it? Oh, and the free... Oh, no, we got Vassal for you. That's why. Yes. For one second now, I was like, oh, my God, the three daughters separated. And my son had a baby, but he died. No! Robard Mormont. Why would she... Why did this happen? My lord, your acquaintance, Sir Joffrey, tried to hatch a dragon from his egg, but failed. He also lost the egg in the process. The fool! Joffrey Valerian, you idiot! You're scarred as well, and he's 16 years old. Today we stay sober, if it goes onward like this. Team Plasma cries. Oh no. We'll let time go up. Rickon Stark drowned. In a suspicious circumstance. That was the oldest son. Was that the wife? Did Lady Ashwood do this? Did she do it so that her son Elric could inherit? Who knows? Who knows if that's what happened? I mean, I'm just gonna... I'm just throwing it out there. That could be what just happened. But we'll never know, I guess. 
And the Glover's only got 2,000 men. Maybe we could go for the Glover lands instead. That could be an opportunity. But then again, we have to take all this land unless I get a claim on the High Lordship. Let's go for this. Let's go for the Mountain Clansman High Lordship. We want a High Lordship. That's what we want. So we'll go for that first. Then we'll go for the Glover lands. <laughs> ah. Maybe I could try and get a claim on it. I can't think how we could do that right now. Uh, Lord Walder the Fool has usurped the cross and he got it back. The Freys took back the lands they lost. They're married to a Celtiger. That's not looking too bad, is it? And his heir is Waylon Frey of the Twins. Okay. Horrible noises just then. Take one shot for whenever NG's family fails to produce an heir. That's the current rule. Doesn't cover stillborns. Hmm. And there we go. The last rebellion has been taken care of. And Aegon rules the Iron Throne. Ugh. Sad, sad days. Well, I guess it depends who you support. What happened to his brother? Well, he died in prison? So Aegon put Aemond One-Eye in jail. He cut off his penis. He made him a eunuch. Blinded him. His Baratheon wife is now widowed. Why did this happen? Why did you kill your own brother? Were you scared of your brother? Now he's only got one sibling. He's only got one sibling. Prince Daron Targaryen. That's it. And he's been given Dark Sister. Okay, he's married to Jaehaerys Targaryen. His niece, who's an idiot, apparently. Aegon's own daughter. Travelers bring rumors of fire and blood. They say that Lyra Valyrian... Okay, the granddaughter of Melee's of Driftmark and her husband, Vaker Valerian. She now has tamed a dragon. Melee's the Red Queen. Now that is a big dragon. Look at that. 114 years old. Oh dear. 94 Marshall. Could she cause trouble? Adam, you know, he's getting a good selection of dragons here, isn't he? Could Adam be what takes down the king? After Wayne's, he's married to a Strickland. Interesting marriage. He created the High Lord River for the Crab Claw. Did Grover just die? Nope, Grover's still alive. Did they have a baby? No, they did not. They've not had a baby just yet. His heir is Elmo Tully, of course. Obviously, everyone's favorite Tully, Elmo. I think that's everyone's favorite Tully, isn't it? He's had quite a few kids. And Kermit. And then Anson. A revoked, refused revocation of Kingdom of the Iron Isles. Okay, so he tried to take the Iron Isles away from him. And the Iron Isles has risen up in rebellion. So he still remembered what the Iron Isles did in the war. And he has a Valerian steel sword. He has Nightfall. So Dalton the Red Kraken has Nightfall. Okay, so he's going to try and take that from him. He's got 11,000 men. What is the North doing? We're staying neutral. Well, we're not, we'll stay with the king then, you know. We're religious and stuff. But a lot of people are supporting the king. No one's helping the Iron Isles. The normal suspects into Trident, the Westlands, the Stormlands, all are supporting the king right now. I wasn't an Elmo kid. I was an Oscar kid. And Kermit from the Muppets, yes. News in King's Landing. Uh, Viserys Targaryen has hatched a dragon and named him Harry's. Who's a fertile dragon, a baby of Cyrax. Well, there you go. Lovely times. And Grover finally died. Nettles did not give him a baby. And the new Lord of the Trident, Lord Paramount Elmo Tully. I am pleased to hear that after a period of peace and shrewd management, Bear Island prospers. Of course it does. It's Bear Island. It's a great place to live. Who wouldn't want to live in Bear Island? When we get the claim on this, if only, how do we get, if we get the High Lordship, we need 51%. Uh, There's five places here, so we're going to need to take three of these to be able to make it. That's going to be, that's going to take quite a while. We have, we have one, we need two more. Aegon Targaryen, he didn't tame his dragon. So that was the son of Rhaenyra and Daemon. Tried to tame Storm Cloud, which is a great name, but uh, yeah, it didn't work out. Uh, my account is currently 42 years old. News from Mentories, my lord. Uh, Rhaenyra White hatched a dragon. 
Wait. Ulf White. Yeah, Ulf White is still alive with his dragon. He's with the Painted Valley. So he's off in North Valyria, apparently. He got married and he had a baby. And she hatched a dragon called Timpax. Could we see the Whites come back one day? Could we see the Whites come back to Westeros? And Elric Stark died of pneumonia. Oh, no. Wait, wait, wait. What happens to the North then? So, Cragen Stark, who would be his heir? Bernard Stark. So, it would have to go to Rickon's brother. Okay. And he has lots of kids, so they're fine. He's married to a car Stark. Okay, the line is secure then. That's fine. Um, the Lord of the Storm has died in combat against Dalton the Red Kraken. So, the Red Kraken might not be going to win, but he took down the Lord Powerman of the Stormlands. In the battle. So at least he did something, I guess you could say. We could hold a melee, but I'm going to leave it for now. We need to repay our loan, don't we? Let's repay it. We needed that. We used it. We don't need it now anymore. Is there a disease? There's no disease right now. Um, Stark's always down in every bookmark. <laughs> it's so cold up north. They just all die. Uh, against the tyranny, so the new Lord of the Stormlands have a little bit of trouble controlling it. Uh, Lord Palmont Davos Baratheon, he's a strong man, married to the Quarreler. He's got three children. Uh, a lot of people have rebelled against him. Night Song, Rainwood, a lot of people. But Night Song are leading the charge. Royce Karen, you honor your obligation and answer this call to arms against Lord Palmont Cragen. War against his tyranny. So the, the tall hearts think the Star Craig and Stark is a, a tyrant. So they want to put him down. Because he tried to have him arrested. Ah. Okay, so he's tried to have the tall hearts arrested. And so they rose up in rebellion. Is anyone supporting him? No. Small council, I, I think we all agree we decline. Because no one else is helping him. It's, it's a lost cause. We just get ourselves killed. News from Winterfell over trial by combat. Clay Riswell demanded a trial by combat from his captive, um, selecting Lord Caven Riswell to uh, be his champion. Yield to his po okay, so Caven. Who's Caven? Okay, so Caven was the son. So Caven Riswell was his son. He chose him to be the champion. The Lord Paramount chose Roderick Dustin, the ruin to be his champion, and Roderick won, of course. So, in the end, he had his head chopped off. That's a shame. Was beheaded. It's a shame. It's so sad. It's a sad, sad situation. But they had a baby, Mage Mormont. There we go. So, we've got some more Mormonts in the family. That's kind of nice to see. We need to get off this. I mean, we've already got Pine's End. We've kind of got off the island slightly. We just need to get more. That's all. We just need more. We need Breakstone Hill. That's what we want next. We just need to get the claim. He has a, a 16. He's got a good chance of getting a claim there. Um, the Tall Hearts were defeated. Hold and melee. I think we're fine for now. And let's go back. So, how's the war against the Greyjoys? 79% in favor of Aegon. Uh, the Wall family would like to now have a marriage. We do have an alliance, so let's do it. Let's do it. Uh... Declare Peasant Revolt for the Twins on Lord Palmer Elm of the Trident. Our agreement has been reached. Offer the customary amount. Yes. Don't offer too much, but don't offer too little. You know, it's the way to do things. Can we get this? I want to take the flints down. They have no allies. Beyond a great melee is a northern tradition. And it's to be held in a King's Grove. Just down. Of course, we'll, we'll go and prove our worth, won't we, Council? Let's go prove our worth for now. Uh, Tallheart was executed. Has declared war against the tyranny of Dalton the Red Kraken. So, the Harlow family are not happy with uh, Mr. Greyjoy. And so, I mean, it's Crom the Rash. Maybe he's been a bit rash here, but he decided to go into rebellion. He says, you're bringing us, you're going to kill us all against the Iron Throne. The early stages of the melee were chaotic and frenzied. And as left fields trampled and villages half torn down. Many have been forced to leave the battle either by injury or defeat. Many at your hand. Now you stand among the remaining. Charge! 
You and Brandon Forrester sight each other amongst the battle and prepare to engage. Well, here we're taking on Brandon Forrester. I can take him down. I'll defeat him. Now, I'm kind of ruthless and train. Yeah. Let's go with force. You see a weak spot of vulnerability in Brandon's defense is not much, but it's all you need. Let's go. I forcefully overwhelmed his defense stance. It's all over. Brandon drops his weapon and throws up his hands. Yield. I yield. Well. Hmm. I see no reason to kill him. It wouldn't help me. I, I would kill him if it helped me, but it was not going to help me. So I accept. Back on your feet. You've won. At a fierce duel, you have forced Brandon Foz to concede defeat. He removes himself from the field, nursing his injuries. Whilst I seek a new opponent. You and Andrew Mormont sight each other. I found my own son, guys. <laughs> I look everyone saying finish him. Kill him. Why would I just kill him, guys? It's an honorable melee of the old gods. Why would I just kill him? But yes, Andrew Mormont, I will defeat my own son. Your ability to take down any man in a brawl is widely renowned. Uh, let's force my son. You see a weak spot. Strike! You easily break through. Kill him. Kill my son. <laughs> Kill my own son. That would mean she would inherit, which would not be good. Yeah, John Seller. Um, yeah, back on your feet. Good job, son. At least you were brave to take me on, your own father. But victory is mine. I knew the risks. You and Master Wyman sight each other. I can take him down. I seem to no longer have the patience to negotiate. I've become rough now because there's fighting. We'll force. Strike. You easily break through. I accept. Back on your feet. Victory is mine. After a fierce duel, we forced him to concede defeat. Uh, the Red Kraken has been defeated, of course. Oh, White Peace. White Peace in the end. You and Torrin Flint sight each other. So we've now got Torrin Flint to take on. I will defeat him. The hard training. Oh, 15%. Come on. Did we get it? No, we didn't become a skilled fighter. That is a shame. Okay, force him. He quickly countered my forceful attacks. No, we finally met someone who can actually fight Torrin Flint. But he defeats us. Yield, yield. Your battle fairly won. Back on your feet. I was so close to winning. You reached the final four fighters. Damn, we were in the last four. That's a shame. Defeat is painful. I mean, final four is pretty good. After uh, Roth and Rufus equals kill them all. No, it does not. Rufus means you'll do whatever you need to do to win. Roth means when you're angry, you'll kill him. If I beat them, why would I be angry with them? See, I don't think you guys understand how, how personalities work. They're a bit more complicated than the simple things. After many hours of intent, this guy's an ambitious kind of ruthless man. His Roth is when people betray him, when he's angry with someone. Not when he's just fighting in a tourney. They engage in the final duel with Torin won after forcing Howland to yield. So we lost to the eventual winner. And Howland Lake came second. Good for him. Good for him. And the wars are over once again. What a great fight. What a lovely day for everyone. And of course, you know, the Dawn is uh, still independent. Will the Iron Throne ever go to take it back? Joffrey Valerian revoked the lands from Joffrey Valerian. Who controls the High Lordship? Mathos Bywater has the High Lordship of Dragonstone. Interesting. And my son had a daughter and she's not dead. Danella Mormont. There we go, guys. But what is this? King Aegon the Torment has declared King Aegon the Second's conquest. Of the skulls. So Aegon wants to take over the pirates, apparently. Not not completely sure why. It's a, it's a pretty odd choice, but I guess he wants to try and take people's mind off of his recent Dance of Dragons by attacking an outside force. There's a great melee in the north in the Umberlands. Okay, we'll go. A chance to prove our worth once again. 
We want to vote for the name. Hashtag blame NG. Call a physician at once. The Iron Throne can't keep the dragon straight, much less Dawn. That's a good point. Airball. Winter comes to an end. Well, that's good to see. Your wife has died now for... Ah. Oh, a small private funeral. I'll honor myself next time. I didn't get through, apparently. But we no longer have a wife. Should I get remarried? Should I get remarried indeed? Are there any young girls here who need a marriage? No. No, there's not. Well, maybe we'll leave it for now. Um, marry a young, lustful lady to have more sons. That's all what choices we could have. Old gods. Okay, if we did get remarried, we could marry a flint, you know, a flint right there. Uh, well, we're already married to the Wells. Mullins. Pool. That's really it. Um, yeah, not really many choices apart from maybe the Flint girl. But where is she? She's from Flint's Finger. So that she could be a good ally. Hmm. That might be not a bad ally, actually, then. It's his sister. Yeah, she used to be married to the Riswell, but he died of severe stress. So we could marry her. Marry the Flint. Marry a young girl. No, the Flint girl is tainted. Any lustful genius would do. My ma my my lord is zealous. He's a uh, he doesn't like to marry outside his religion right now. But Mage Flint could be a choice. We want the alliance. We've already got two alliances. I'm not particularly concerned. I'm not particularly concerned. Uh, lord Bannon Lightfoot have sighted each other. He fought bravely. In my mind, I feel like you know he's kind of sad. He just lost his wife. You know, after many intense hours of battle, only Lord Bannon Lightfoot. Remain. So Bannon Lightfoot won. He's a true warrior. Good for him. NG getting sloppy seconds. What a great fight. What's going on in the trident? Oh yeah, just a peasant revolt down there. Uh, has broken down. What happened? Who died? Your acquaintance. No, that's not her. Go away. Lacey Mormont died. She was pregnant, so she died of pneumonia. She was going to give the world child a baby. Well, that's okay. Now we have no non-aggression pact. We could claim that instead, I guess. That's what I prefer. Northern tradition. Nah, we've already been in a couple of things so far. We'll go to one more. But the king has died. King Aegon died in suspicious circumstances. I told you no one loved him. So King Aegon the Tormentor has been assassinated by someone. No one knows what happened. And there's so many possible, shall we say, people who would want to kill him. We have no idea. So his son, Jaehaerys uh, Targaryen, has taken over. But who will look after him? Who's going to look after him? His mother's dead? His father's dead? Who's the Lord Commander of the Night's Watch? Quarren. And on here we've got... Of Shadow Tower and East Watch. Okay, that's fine. Uh, let's go get Fabricate Claims. I think on let's go for the Whirls because I want to get that. No man, you ruined my ship post. All hail is grace. Curse his name. Those Dan Faith for the seven people from the south. Winter's coming to an end. But I want to get this one. We have the whole kind of like edge here. Kragen start still controls this. He has no kids right now. I'm not sure he's going to have any kids. Yeah, it's probably going to go down to Bernard Stark's line. That's how it looks like it's going to be. Take Bear's Landing. The King of the Iron Throne. He married his father's former wife, Queen Raina. <laughs> and she's pregnant. Is that the former king's baby? Or is that his baby? I don't know. I don't know whose baby this is. That is disgusting to think that we don't know who the baby's father is. I mean, I'm sure she does. I wish I'd tell you how long ago it was. Um, sighted each other. Medric Mandalay. Oh, he killed him. Oh, dear. That is a shame. After many hours, only Medric Mandalay and Roderick the Ruin were left. Roderick the Ruin, though, came out on top. He's a true warrior. Travelers bring rumors of fire and blood. They say that Morgil has escaped the dungeons of Jahara Targaryen. Oh dear. 
So she, she's having trouble taming that little dragon. After many hours of intense fighting, it's done. That's fine. We got the Boltons as an alliance. So I'm not particularly bothered about the alliance right now. We shouldn't be too concerned. He's got his own little dragon, of course, though. Uh, Shrykos. Who's got 10 for a 9-year-old dragon. That sounds pretty good. But what's going on? I heard a scream. We've got a tyrant. Calling in favors. Nothing too out the norm. Um, my lord, Newson King's landing of a trial by combat. The pirate lord demanded a trial by combat. <laughs> and we had Jeremy Charlton versus Oroko. Jeremy Charlton to yield. We managed to escape. Okay. But he's underneath the Iron Throne now. Which is a, a kind of random thing. We've now got a pirate underneath the Iron Throne. That's fine. Lol wasn't listening to what he said. Yeah. I always knew my ambition would help me reach great places and to acquire some wealth during the way is always a nice bonus. Even better. Got lots of screaming. Who keeps killing people? Some people keep killing people. I keep hearing screaming. Uh, then how do you not know about the drinking rules, says X-Man. That's twice. Beheaded, died in suspicious circumstances. Someone's going around and killing people. I feel like someone's going around and killing supporters of the former King Aegon. The Baratheons did support them. But again, he did have lots of enemies as well. Um, a trial by combat. Leon Lefford lost his trial by combat. Philip Payne, a formidable fighter, beat Osbert Betley. Wow. That would be a good fight, actually, probably. King's Land of a great trial at the court. Uh, Morm Rowan has been caught, made into a eunuch and blinded. Not that can't be fun for him. Can't be fun for him. I'm gonna delete that. Give me the damn claims game. Give me this claim. Okay, what is this? I have a letter. Commander, of course we will. Bad news from Bear Island. God, stupid people. Stupid people. But I, I want to get this claim. You got such a good chance of getting it. How come you've not done it yet? And we need a new debutante. And we need to get some of these married, don't we? Let's bring a young debutante in for one of these guys to marry. Uh, Spymaster, Marlon, how about you have a nice little marriage? Congratulations. We've got two, actually. How about you marry this girl? There you go. And the other one shall go to... We'll go Ramsey. Ramsey, congratulations. You have a nice marriage as well. And there we go. Everyone is married now. All the people in the council that can get married are married. So that's good to see. Hopefully their children can help us in the future. And they'll be good people for generations. But yes. That's the king. Oh, well, not king. Sorry. He's not a king, is he? Sorry. I need to remember he's not a king. Can't say that. 35 years they could still have a baby. I mean, you're stressed and depressed. That might hold you back from having a baby. But you're lustful. And uh, she's a family person. So maybe... Maybe she wants more babies. But yeah, maybe. Probably not right now. But with the king so young, an alliance between the Reach and the Westerlands. With the king so young, oh wait. I mean, he's not that young, I guess. But he's still, you know, 15. What will happen? Will Jaehaerys be able to keep control of the Iron Throne? We don't know. His heir would be Mela. There's Urion. Yeah, it was his brother. So he did, you know, Aegon before he died did put a baby in her. And that was Urien. Weak claim. High Lodge with Blackwood. We're not going to go to war with the Riverlands. I don't think that will help us. We'll have to go to that tournament. Straits of Tarth died in suspicious circumstances. The trance. I just wonder the trance died. A lot of people are getting assassinated. What is going on? Why is everyone getting assassinated? Everyone's getting assassinated. What is going on today? Lord Roderick Dustin and Master Bane of Castle sighted each other. But, of course, Roderick the Ru Who's going to beat Roderick the Ruin? No, again, he even faced Kragen Stark. Wow. They were the last two left. But Roderick the Ruin took down Kragen Stark. That's a big win. Yes, he's done it. Use it. So we go. We finally got our claim on Crow's Edge. And we need one more. Let's go for Breakstone Hill. We'll take that as well. 
How many men? Is he? he has 1,600 men with the allies, of course, of the Boltons, which is a great little alliance there. They won't give us an alliance, but that's fine. Do you have allies? No, you do not. Well, war it is then. Give me Crow's Edge. Give me Crow's Edge. The Stormlands just got usurped, NG. Let me go have a quick look then. Well, uh, put this down. So I'm going to let the Boltons take care of the situation. They should be able to handle it. Revoke the Lordship of Stockworth from Lord Lucos of Crackclaw. Okay, medium realm authority. The honor's obligation. Yeah, you are correct. So, Jaehaerys took the Stormlands away from the Baratheons. They obviously, I guess he saw the Baratheons couldn't control it. So he's like, you know, you've had revolts. People were assassinated. You can't be trusted to look after the Stormlands. You know, I'm going to have to take it away from you for now. The Stormlands, you know, te te technically Ori's Baratheon was a bastard Targaryen. So I have that right. And she's a dragon egg. Will she give that to her little son? We'll have to wait and see. Okay, the Boltons will come. They'll bring their men. They can handle the situation. If I need to, I can just raise my men and defend the island. Because he, he won't be able to take the island. So that'll be fine. Increase speed as well. Oh, he's going straight for Pine's End, actually. But we'll just leave ourselves to defend that. Look at that little hat there. He's got his little helmet on and everything. But here come the Boltons. The Boltons should be able to take care of this. I would want to attack him. Hopefully they just go and attack him anyway. No, they're not They're not going to go attack him. They decided to go for their own thing. Good, good job, Boltons. Maybe I should just raise some men. Yeah, we'll get 1,700. Let's bring him down. In fact, we'll just go there. Uh, we'll go straight... Oh, mountains, though. That's the problem. You have a navy, NG. We don't need a navy. Who needs a navy these days? If I ask him to follow me, would he just take that? Eh, we'll see. We'll see how things go. Any actual uh, commanders? We do need to come out. We can even get a bodyguard. Who do we have? Trained fighter. He's trained fighter and brave, which I guess isn't bad. Yeah, dual skill. Okay, Donald, you can be the bodyguard of the Mormonts. Uh, a new navy in the north doesn't exist. Commanders. We'll go with my son, Andrew Mormont. Of course you should lead the men. You're my son, damn it. I will lead the first, and you lead the side, okay? You lead the 90 men. Okay, they should take this fairly easily. Shouldn't take them on to get that. Alan of Griffin's Roost used a favor. Um, I figured let my vassal of mine support factions against me without taking action. You're sorely mistaken. If you value a wretched life, you will swear not to form any such... Fa I'm not in a faction. I'm not even in a faction. I should join the Liege... Technically, I should join the Liege Loyalist. I think we're more of a Liege Loyalist. But now I'm a bit upset. I know he isn't bluffing. This option's available because you are paranoid. Best to... Yeah. Yeah. I know he's not bluffing. Of course we will. We don't want to get attacked by him. Um, I'm not going to attack because it seems silly. Because he'll likely defeat us in the mountains. Even with great Theon. It would be silly to try and take him on. In the mountains. He's got 18 martial as well. He's a good leader as well. He is an island country. Could pull the whole English thing. Make him like you. Okay. Eerie trial by combat. Not particularly concerned about that. They're going to take this. We lost to him, Pine Den, but that's fine. They won't be able to capture me or my heir, so it's fine. Uh, King Jaehaerys inherited the castle of the Dragon Gate. And can they get Crow's Edge? They did take the first one. We're 88%. Attending the wounds of the men. Good job. And peace. We surrender. Oh, lay down arms. Uh, yeah, yeah, we'll lay down arms, Craig and Stark. We'll lay down arms. We surrender. Accept. <laughs> My lord, I should do as you command, of course. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. Isn't that great, guys? <laughs> Isn't that great? We managed to get the land and he asked us to stand down, but it didn't matter because uh, it was already mine. And now we need just one more and we can make the high lordship. So hopefully we can get Breakstone Hill... And that will be ours. That was perfect timing, wasn't it? Older melee. Uh, you want me to come to the tournament? Okay, we'll come to the tournament. Fine. We'll delete these men. Done. 
Yeah. The world's a dangerous place and someone might be trying to kill my daughter. Those sick people. Why would someone want to kill my daughter? Travis rumors of fire and blood that say Aegon Targaryen now rides Morgul into battle. So there we go. NG, careful now. You have to read treaties. I know. Alaric Woods has been a leal and able servant. I owe him nothing. Yeah, I'm not really the nicest of guys. I owe him nothing. He's just doing his job. I need to hit the High Lordship because I'm over my uh, my domain size, but I can't give out these lands until we have the High Lordship. So we're just going to have to wait until we have free places. Hopefully I can do it before I die. I'm 47, so I'm not young. Um, Lord Bannon Lightfoot did win the melee against Harif in the end. But there we go. Uh, guys, apologies. The stream apparently is slightly unstable. So if you do notice that, if the stream does lag a little bit, please make sure that you, uh, should we say, refresh. In fact, I might just refresh the stream just to make sure. So guys,